Hi, this is Pete Wittridge. I'm stepping in for the Massage Nerd. This is Sue Bibbick. She is the Vice President of the Alliance for Massage Therapy Education. Only for another 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sue, why don't you tell us a little bit about the transition that's happening in the Alliance for Massage Therapy Education. Actually, it's pretty darn exciting, Pete, or shall I call you Ryan? <laughs> we, we have... Um, a passing of the gavel occurring at our, our annual meeting tomorrow. I'm going to be stepping down as vice president, and I hear that Pete Whitridge is stepping down as president. Cherie Sonen Moe is president elect, and Stan Dawson is going to be vice president. So our executive committee is ready for transition, and I'm feeling really good about it. We've, we've had a really strong internal processing building couple of years, even with putting on an educational congress, the first that's ever occurred. And I feel like um, we're really ready for the next wave, and we've got some new board members. Pretty excited about it. Tell me about some of those new board members. Um, we have Dr. Penny Jeffrey on, who we've had for a few months. She filled out a term and was just re-elected by acclamation, um, and she's right now chairing membership but has a very strong background in education and um, and research, um, mm -hmm. teaches at, oh, I don't want to get the college uh, wrong. North Carolina State University. North Carolina State University, and um, has a lot of passion for the profession, new massage therapist, um, so... And she rescues baby pigs. How could that not be good? Oh, my God. What's her email? <laughs> I don't remember it, but it has <laughs> pigs. Something in it. about pigs. Something about baby pigs, yeah. yeah. So tell me, um, what will you take away as your time on the Alliance? You've got another year to serve. What would be some things you'd like to do? Well, I'm, I'm really, the last few years, I've been really focused on helping the organization get some foundational work done. Um, I was part of the finance committee until Eric Polgar, treasurer, dismissed me because he got more members. I mean, that's not my forte, but I knew we really needed financial policies. We need to get a handle on our budget and really work that one forward. Um, and right now I'm chair and liaison to the governance committee. And what we're working on is we did a whole review of the bylaws and, and basically shifted to where who we are now as an organization because how we started those bylaws didn't really fit the, the major transition we made in 2011. And um, so now we're working on policies and procedures. I have some dynamite people working with me. I have M.K. Brennan. Um, who's, uh, I think, I believe, president of S4OM, mm -hmm. yes. and um, Ginny Olson, who's executive director for Massage Therapy Foundation, and Deanna Sylvester, who has a lot of experience in the business world with policies and procedures. So we have, we're, we're really at the point of looking, having some of those pieces in place for us so that the organization can last for as long as it wants to last, you know, 20, 25 years long after I care about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like a dynamic committee, too. So it's, a really it's a great committee. It's a great committee. And we're a really good working committee. We work really well together. Great, yeah. great. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I know that you've been a part of the executive committee? I have. I've been a part of the executive committee for, I, I lose track of which roles I've had for how long in the yes. alliance. It's, I've been with it as a founding member. So, um, But yes, I've been a part of the executive committee and over the last year, year and a half, we've really um, gotten a much more um, functioning, effective executive committee. We meet regularly um, and have, have some really good communication and some processes in place for communication whether it's emails or meetings or um, using Google Docs uh, and going back and forth to write and create what we need to create. And, and Chris is just an amazing secretary and has done a good job arch archiving all our documents. And, and like I said, Eric's just been and great as treasure. And did Krista recently have a baby? She did. She had a little baby boy, Max. I believe May, early May, May somewhere in there, early May, because she's getting ready to head back to work. So she told me she's heading back July 30th. So, yeah, so three months Very ago, nice. I'm going to say. And are you a new grandma? I am a new grandma. Thank you for asking. <laughs> As of July 1st, I have a grandson, beautiful, beautiful little baby boy who, who lives just a mile and a half from me. Oh, yeah, my son and his wife live a mile and a half from me, too. <laughs> <laughs> and was that baby born on a 
full moon? On a full moon, moon, the first in July. We have this is a blue moon month. And coincidentally, I was a I was a full moon baby as well. So, you know, I, I portend great things coming for this child, I'm just saying. And where is your school? My school is in Kalamazoo. I am Sue from Kalamazoo. Kalamazoo, Michigan. And for everybody from Michigan, you know I have to do this. You know, I have to hold up my hand. I'm right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, is there anything you'd like to say to Ryan Hoyme? And thanks for his uh, ability to bring us together here. <laughs> I, I appreciate the opportunity. I think it's one of the great things that he does. And he's so diligent and consistent with keeping, keeping all of us in connection with, with his massage nerd activities. And I have to say, he has two of the sweetest looking little daughters. I love his oh, Facebook yeah. posts with his daughter. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. why don't we look, turn to the camera and say, we love Massage Nerd. We, okay, we love Massage Nerd. We love Massage Nerd. We love Massage we Nerd. We love Massage we Nerd. We totally love Massage Nerd. <laughs> I feel for Massage Nerd. We love Massage Nerd. <laughs> <laughs>